<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? In this quick little screencast, we are going to uh, do some client side uh, search filtering so that you can basically uh, have an input field that looks through records um, that are served on your client. If you had like a, an API call, it would probably only search through through the first batch of records that you fetched. Um, it's not server side search. It's just basic uh, filtering with React. So it'll work something like this. Uh, it's it filters based on the first name and it's not case sensitive. So if we do something like called well, it'll find the record that matches the the first name. So pretty straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, bootstrap a real quick app. So we're gonna use create, react, app, and let's give this a name. Let's just call it uh, simple filter, okay? Uh, this may take a couple seconds. If you don't have create react app, download it as an NPM package. Um, <clears throat> really cool for uh, just creating really quick uh, react apps. So I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'll be right back when this is done. All right, so then we'll CD. It's done. We'll CD into the folder, and it was called Simple Filter. And um, if you've never used this before, it creates a whole bunch of config for you, which is awesome. Let's open this up in Vim, and um, well, I'll open it in a bit. Let's just check out the files that we get. So let's clean it up on this app.js file. We're gonna just get rid of all this stuff here. Boom, and let's just say like hello, just to make sure this is running. Uh, let's check it out in the browser. So we'll say cd simple filter npm start and uh, we should be able to see our hello in our browser here cool um now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a uh just like a couple json objects not json a couple objects that have some uh some static information in them uh, we're, we're just going to filter through some people. For example, I'm going to create a ob couple objects with some people. So um, I'm actually going to pause the video and do that. Uh, we're not going to you know fetch uh, any data from APIs or anything. Just keep it simple here so you can see how you can uh, filter through, through basically through client side uh, information without an API request. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Uh, I made a mistake. I said I was going to create an object. It's just, it's an array of objects. Okay, so it's very simple. Each object has a couple properties. It's got a first name, a last name, and an age. And our array is called people. All right, so this is the array that we're going to essentially uh, filter through to find a result we want. Okay. Uh, so what we can do now is go ahead and um, use map to sort of uh, loop through all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, people map and this takes a function and for each person we're going to say person you can make that whatever variable you want and uh in here we'll return um whatever we want to get back so we'll say return let's make this a div and we'll make this another div close it up and uh let's see we have a couple names so let's just say uh, h1 is going to be the uh, first, so it's going to be person dot first h1. Let's copy paste that. And just make this last. This is going to be pretty ugly list, but uh, it's for demonstrative purposes only. So we'll do three here. And it just occurred to me that we don't have um, a key, which is something that we should have, so that React can identify each item. So we're just going to say key here and we're going to say person.id. All right, so let's go ahead and actually give them each an ID. So let me pause that. Uh, let me pause the video and give each one an ID. I'm just going to do something like this. I'm going to do ID one. Okay, so one sec, I'll be right back. Uh, all right, so we gave them each an ID. Now Sarah's got an ID of one. This guy's got an ID of two, uh, three, and four. Now, I didn't come up with these names, these like awfully. Uh, English name I don't know anyway I just found them from like a JSON generator so um, it's worth mentioning that this can be an arrow function if you want so you can just do something like or let's check it out um, in Chrome so boom there we go there's our list of people um, each one's got their age on uh, their first and last name so let's go ahead and um, make this a uh, whatchamacallit an arrow function 
Uh, now with arrow functions, you can actually, you don't need these parentheses. Uh, you can make that a fat arrow. Uh, you don't need this bracket either. And you don't need a return. So let's get rid of return. Let's get rid of the bracket. And um, this should be okay. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, whoops. There we go. All right, everything still works. Cool. Um, next thing, let's go ahead and add a, uh, let's add like a search input there. Or a form basically so that we can type something in and filter the results. So we'll go right here under um, the main div and we'll say form and we'll add an input in there. So you type text and close up the form. Whoops. Okay. This is weird. This is not in JSX, so I can't do auto formatting. Let's see. How about now? Okay, cool. So uh, that didn't work. All right, whatever. Um, okay, so we got a form. Let's give this uh, component a constructor so that we can uh, have state in it and make our people list um, our state essentially. So um, above our render method, we're going to create a constructor, constructor props, super props. And in here, we're going to say this dot state equals, and for now, we only got one piece of state, and that's going to be uh, people is the people list. Okay, fairly simple. Let's see, we don't have any errors. Oh, we do have an error. What's going on? I think I didn't close my input tag. Does this need to be closed? Nope, something else is wrong. Give me one sec. Check this out. Um, and I'm still getting an error, and it's obviously because uh, this here is not supposed to have curlies. So, messed up right there. Anyway, let's make this JSX again because the formatting is all messed up. So, um, okay, now we actually have a people property on our state. So, we don't have to map through the people uh, list anymore that we created up here. Instead, we map through the state. Fairly simple, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say this dot state dot people map. Now let's see if everything worked out. Everything's still good. And we got our input up here, blah, 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 blah. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is create a uh, function that's going to sort of handle when this uh, input changes. So in fact, what we can do here is, and this video is getting a little long, so I'm going to just do this and call it a video and keep going in the next one. So I'm just going to say on change. And here we're going to say, um, well, you know what? Let's just handle this. We'll call it this dot, uh, what can we call it? Search. Let's just call it search handler. And um, let's bind this to our constructor. So in here we're going to say uh, this dot search handler. Whoops. Let's do this dot search handler dot bind this. And we haven't created this yet. So obviously, if you run this, you're going to get an error. Um, what we've done here is basically um, defined and bound this uh, function to the component. And we're going to use it on the on change property in our input. Um, so uh, let's hope you're not too confused. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going in the next video. And I'll see you there.